Every year, mayflies emerge from Lake Erie's waters and cling to everything on the coast. And uh, they are out right now, as we said, in full force, especially in the lakeside community of Catawba Island. 13 ABC's Michael Bratton traveling there tonight to see how folks are dealing with those sticky and crunchy critters. From houses to cars and everywhere in between, mayflies are invading Lake Erie's coast. They're just an annoyance. It really is. That's all they are. In Catawba Island, Eric Head and his family spend every summer coexisting with the bugs. And they'll just come out of the lawn and they're just on you. And then you end up picking them off each other just like monkeys picking <laughs> fleas or bugs off of each other. While they're hard to avoid, Head still does his best to try to keep the critters at bay. You don't want to leave your lights on and have your blinds open or your ports light on because you will have piles of them in the morning. At the Dairy Dock and Bogey's Barbecue, owners Brad and Bonnie Bogner use a different method to battle the bugs. Yes, we have a leaf blower just for the mayflies. <laughs> Even with the use of power tools, the Bogners say the mayflies still find a way to stick around. You gotta deal with them, they're here. There's nothing you can do. <laughs> Despite their ability to seemingly stick to everything and gross some people out, mayflies are actually harmless and a sign of a healthy lake. It means there's oxygen in the bottom of the lake where they are, so that's, that's a good sign. Dr. Mayer says mayflies spend two years living at the bottom of the lake before the wind sweeps them from the surface. Once on land, they have about three days to mate before they die, and even then, the bugs do their part. They are um, a good, very good fish food. Yellow perch and walleye love to eat the larvae. While everyone has different views about them, those who live on the lake say mayflies are just a part of life. You get used to it, I guess. <laughs> In Catawba Island, Michael Bratton, 13 ABC Action News.